Hi, in this video we demonstrate how to use Vagrant with VirtualBox to automate the provisioning of virtual machines. For this project we installed Vagrant 2219 and VirtualBox 6130 and on the host machine a Vagrant demo project directory has been set up and a Vagrant file has been created in this directory. So let's take a quick look at the Vagrant file. This configuration file includes all the technical details that we need to configure the Vagrant project. At the top we see the box that we are going to use, which in other words means the image, the operating system image to be used. Ubuntu Focal, which translates to Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Um, we are configuring the host name of the virtual machine. What we are going to see at the prompt when we SSH into the machine, Vagrant Host. Then we configure the IP address that my virtual machine should receive. And then finally, thanks to the VirtualBox provider, I'm able to configure some specific properties of the virtual machine itself. I give it a particular name, Vagrant VM, and Vagrant VM will be actually displayed by my VM VirtualBox manager. Then two CPUs and two gigabytes of RAM would be the size of my virtual machine then I'll be using a shell provisioner in order to update the packages and install vim and curl and as a bonus I would want to have a container runtime and run a particular container on this virtual machine so I want an nginx image to be run with the help of the Podman container runtime. Now, because of some known bugs, using the, the Podman provisioner to install Podman as well uh, causes some errors. So in order to avoid that, I decided to install Podman manually, um, part of the shell provisioning process. Okay. So there's a few additional lines here that have been added to successfully install and run Podman. And then there are three additional lines uh, that are creating a Vagrant demo text file, which is going to record basically the, the timestamp when this virtual machine has been provisioned. So now that we did that, we saw what's included in this definition file. Let's exit. And let's try to run this project. Vagrant up. So you may have noticed immediately that a new entry has been created in the list of my virtual machines. And it changed its name into Vagrant VM, exactly how we have configured it in the Vagrant file. So in the console, we see um, SSH, uh, an SSH address, the username that is being created, and the private and public keys generated in order to allow a secure line of communication between um, the provisioner and the virtual machine. So my host can securely communicate with the guest VM. Any warnings that we see, they are safe. Uh, they can be safely disregarded. This updates finally the packages on my virtual machine after the uh, focal uh, Ubuntu 20.04 uh, has been initialized. Installs curl, installs vim, installs podman. And then ultimately it will start my nginx container.
So the last three lines, they're telling me that the Nginx container has been started. So now I can validate the status of my Vagrant VM with Vagrant status. This tells me that the machine is running and it uses VirtualBox. And now that I know it is running, I can SSH into it. So Vagrant has a specific command for that, Vagrant SSH. Now once I'm logged into the machine, I am the Vagrant user at the Vagrant host. Vagrant host is the host name configured in, for in, in, in the Vagrant file. Now the IP address of my machine is as requested. And it seems that there's another network built for Podman. Okay, so it's a bridge network for Podman containers. Now that we're logged in, let's validate that we're running um, Ubuntu Focal. So cat at C OS release is going to show me exactly that. Okay that we're running Ubuntu 20.04 LTS on the virtual machine. Let's try to validate that our timestamp has been generated. So let's look at the Vagrant demo text file. And it includes exactly the text that we wanted. The Nginx container running with Podman on VirtualBox VM and then provision at, and this is the current timestamp. Okay. Now let's validate that the container is actually running. So we can do that with sudo podman container ls. Okay, so this gives me a listing of my podman containers. And it seems that the Docker Nginx image is running and it has been created about two minutes ago. So knowing that Nginx is a web server, I can validate that this web server is running in my container with curl, but first I need to retrieve the IP address of my container. So sudo podman container inspect and I will use the first three characters of its container ID. And I want to only display the IP address. So its IP address is 10.88.0.2. So if I were to curl this IP, chances are that I will receive a response from the Nginx web server running inside that container. Again, it is run with Podman on my virtual machine. Okay. So now that we have validated that everything works just as expected, I can exit. So now I'm back on my host. We can also check on the virtual uh, box manager that my Vagrant VM has been configured with two processors okay, and also two gigabytes of memory, two gigabytes of RAM. Okay. And now that we have completed all of our tasks, we can either halt the machine and destroy it or just destroy it, which will force stop the machine. So let's force stop it. Vagrant destroy. So destroy will force stop the machine and destroy it altogether. Keep an eye on its entry here on the side. I have to confirm that I want to destroy the machine and it is stopped, powered off and ultimately it just disappeared. So there's no longer on my VirtualBox VM manager. Okay. So this machine has been created. We validated that all the applications are were running on it. The runtime has, has been uh, was running my Nginx 
container and now it was safe for us to destroy it because it is no longer needed. So this concludes our demo. We have created a VM with a, a, a Vagrant and we have successfully completed all the tasks and eventually destroyed it. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.